coming out today to support not just Emanuel School, obviously we're the ones that were in the courthouse today, but to support really all schools, but specifically Emanuel today. We opened, we opposed the mandate because we didn't feel it was constitutional. We feel like there was nothing to stand on um, that made anything an immediate danger. The county has made a, uh, a clear uh, case that the school is violating those orders right now and that we have a clear uh, right to relief in the form of a temporary restraining order for the school to obey those orders. I don't know how the county can show that there's an irreparable harm that's going to be done to the community when there's been scientific testing that was done stating that herd immunity has been achieved by the community at an annual. But we don't know whether you know children who tend not to come down with symptoms of the disease aren't spreading this throughout the community. The county must make an affirmative factual showing and a declaration containing competent testimony based on personal knowledge of irreparable harm, immediate danger, or any other statutory basis for granting relief, again, on an ex parte basis. The court finds that the county has not made that showing thus far and denies the issuance of a temporary restraining order. Judge ruled today that there was no imminent danger and that we can keep our doors open. So we are thankful we're giving God the glory and we are hoping that other schools can open and, and do the same and put kids and teachers back in the classrooms where they belong. For us, school is essential. And that was something we were willing to stand behind and our school said we're opening no matter what. And we did it and the county came after us and here we are and the judge said that there's no imminent danger so we're very happy and again just thankful that um, we had so much support today. Come on, come on.